starting. We're live! Yay! Everybody say hi! Yeah. Okay. So fun. Oh my gosh. All right. Thank you to my amazing tech support um, husband who fixed whatever I disabled. And we're just going to really quick go through some important things that you need to know because it's a brand new seminar year and a lot of where you land June 30th 2017 is based on what what we do right now and and it's easy to let July, August, September kind of slip by and then we start kind of ramping up for holiday sales and this is a really great time of year to build clients because a lot of people have flexibility in their schedules because the kids aren't in school and and you know people don't have as much structure. So don't let don't let this precious precious um summertime season go by without without building your clients so I'm gonna share a couple things with you that I, I feel like are are super important um, some of you may have seen in our in our unit Facebook group and I, I also put it on our newsletter that kind of the theme words it doesn't really have a poem or a rhyme or an acronym that goes with it but our theme words this year are stewardship love abundance and gratitude and I have found um, you know Mark Batterson one of my favorite authors and pastors um, of National Community Church in uh, Washington DC he says stewardship equals success and success equals stewardship and and what does that mean it means um, taking what we have and utilizing it to the fullest and, and every client, every sale, every dollar that comes through our hands, every team member, to, to treat that like it is um, a, a precious gift, which it is. And when, when we do that and we, we split our money and, and you know, build our store and um, give that customer service to those clients so they come back to us again and again, that's blasting foundation. Um, and so... And love, you know, that sounds kind of sappy or hippie or, I, you know, I don't know. But um, treating others and, and treating our business and treating our families with that first 13 love, patient, kind, um, not self-serving, you know, um, all those different things, um, putting others first. When, when we're operating out of that, because in, in that scripture it talks about... Um, do all these amazing things even be burned at the stake for the cause of Christ but if you do it without love it means nothing and so when we operate our, our businesses and our families and our lives with that first Corinthians 13 love um, that makes all the difference and abundance what does that mean um, a lot of us sometimes based on how we were raised or certain you know experiences that we went through in our lives where maybe things were tight financially, we can, we can get into a, a lack or a poverty mentality. And, and that actually just kind of pushes away or helps us to, or, or keeps us from seeing all the opportunities that are around us. So, so learn to practice in a, an abundance mentality. Um, and, you know, again, that, that's something where you, you focus on what you do have and what you can do rather on what you don't have and what you can't do. And um, there, are, there are men, women, boys, and girls, everybody and anybody that has skin, you, there, there are more people than we could ever get to for clients. And so when we have that abundance mentality, all of a sudden our eyes are open to all the possibilities around us instead of our limitations. And we are, we are so very blessed to have, to have our health and to have the measure of strength that we have and intelligence and, and um, the ability to dream and, and visualize. And um, all of these things are a gift that, that a lot of people do not have some of that or all of that. And so when we 
I heard it recently in um, a training with National Sales Director Leah Lachlan. She said she learned to train herself that when she started getting kind of crabby or fussy about life problems, she reminded, you know what, those are those are first world problems. Um, you know, people in, in poverty-ridden areas or neighborhoods or parts of the world, um, you know, wish they had some of the problems that we had problems that we had so she would bring herself back to just simple thank you god that i have the ability to access clean running water today that um i have a home with air conditioning that you know i have access to medical care you know what i'm saying so um and and so when you start being in gratitude for those basic things it kind of brings our perspective back and our and our gets our attitude in check. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. And so that kind of lends to gratitude, abundance, and then gratitude. And um, you can. I, Stephen Furtick is one of my favorite pastors, and he was talking recently about about gratitude practice. And did you hear that one? But in his, it, because again, you can get frustrated with you know. It, just life can be frustrating. I mean, I'm not taking that away from any of us, but but when you daily and and force yourself to write a list of all you have to be grateful for, again, it gets your, our perspectives back to um, to a place where we can really operate in abundance and make the most of what we've been given. So th that's kind of you know you'll you'll hear me talk a lot about those four words but um you know take those four words and run with them do a word study mm -hmm. no it's um and gratitude yeah i know well i kind of went from abundance into gratitude without actually saying we're talking about gratitude okay so i'm gonna talk a lot I'm I'm kind of playing the part of the imagine I don't know if you guys have ever been to the Grand Hotel have you ever been to the Grand Hotel and it's this huge buffet and um, I'm I'm going to pretend like I'm the hostess telling you where the entrees are and where the soups and where the salads are and then it's up to you to pick which of that that you want okay I'm going to talk numbers and and those of you that aren't numbers people which I'm not a numbers person by you know like it's not my favorite thing but don't don't shut down on this because this business is not magical it's mathematical and when you can take you know Mary Kay always said you can take that elephant and eat it one bite at a time and when you can take that bigger goal and have that bigger vision um, but then break it down into smaller parts um, attract number grows and as you track Again, it triggers something in our subconscious mind that helps us see the opportunities all around us and helps us to focus on what we do have and what we can do instead of on what we don't have and on what we can't do. So um, as I'm talking about these different things that you can shoot for weekly, monthly, and all year long, don't um, there's a saying that says when, when the student is ready, the teacher appears have a teachable spirit even if there's something within you that's warring against it like this is too too many numbers or you know if you have a question about it call call me that's what I'm here for I can I can explain it further explain it again I don't care if I have to explain something to somebody ten times because this is for you these these things are for you um, to help you succeed um, the strong lasting foundation Okay, if you don't remember anything else I say on this, the preferred customer program fall lookbook deadline is July 15th. So that's really coming up quick. And this is a program, if you are a beauty consultant in Mary Kay, the preferred customer program is for you. Um, under your second drop down menu, in, under In Touch, um, there's, there's two things that you want to familiarize yourself with. My customers, and the preferred customer program. And anybody that you enter into my customers will automatically be dropped into the preferred customer program. This, go, this goes along with stewardship. Um, this is your, like, this is the basics of building a strong a foundation and, and showing your clients that you are professional, that you are in business, and that you are committed to them, and that you are committed. Um, I've, I've used the example before. Can you imagine if somebody, if uh, let's say an insurance company here locally, let's say State Farm, 
let's say the lady that owns the State Farm branch stands out in front of the, the company and says, you know what, I'm, I'm kind of PMSing today, I'm, I'm kind of hormonal, and I just don't feel like talking to clients, and I feel kind of bloated, and it hasn't been really busy lately, and so I'm just going to shut the doors early and, and like let them run town talking like that. Who would want to do business with that person? Nobody. So our, our words, the way, what we say, our, our, our show of commitment or lack of commitment is huge, you guys, because people will follow you if they know that you're in it for the long haul. Everybody knows somebody that has done something for a while and then, you know, went on to other things. And sometimes we're trying to find our goal and our passion or our life work or whatever. There's nothing wrong with that. But if you will show one of the secrets to my longevity and the success that I've experienced in Mary Kay is that, I mean, everybody knew, like, I'm not going anywhere. Like, I'm going to be 90 putting Mary Kay in people's bags. You know, they, they know I'm not going anywhere. Um, so that goes along with stewardship. So the preferred customer program is now where five times a year they changed it. So it's five times a year. And it co coincides better with, like, the holiday selling season. And, and with retail stores is really, really ahead of the season. Um, so they, they changed it to five times a year. Um, the company on our behalf will send a look, the full size newest lookbook, and they top it better and better every time to our clients for 70 cents a name. If we were to buy those lookbooks and put the post on ourselves, it would cost us $1.85 a person, but because it's a big mass mailing, it's only 70 cents a name. And the company personalizes it and put, you know, it's like, you know, hey, no, wait, Naomi, for the newest fall, you know, looks, check out the thing and has your phone number as the beauty consultant, your website, your contact information. And then there's always a gift with purchase that, you know, we, we buy those little gifts, but they're always very, um, reasonably priced and it's always something that size that when our clients get it that creates reorders mm -hmm. as well now I've, I've had consultants say well I did that preferred customer program and nobody called me that's our job as a professional um, they, I mean based on uh, you know tons of market research different things it takes several touches sometimes seven eight nine ten touches sometimes to just show I'm in business, I'm here, I'm professional, and then all of a sudden the results will come. So it's not just enough to send out those catalogs, but be prepared. Um, the, the company will automatically send you one, so when it hits your mailbox, you'll know that it's time to start going through your list and calling. And anything where, you know, in booking and different things, we use text messages and, and um, Facebook messages and emails and all this, but but your preferred customer, that's where you say, hey, Natasha, this is Kathy with Mary Kay. Um, the newest fall message hit your mailbox, and I'm just checking on you. Is there anything at all that I can um, help you with? I'm here to serve you. You can call me back at da, 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 da. Okay, five times a year, if your clients are getting that gorgeous lookbook, and so that shows again, because there's so much electronic stuff, getting that, getting that beautiful lookbook in the mail and then getting that follow-up call from you, I double dog dare you that you won't build those clients that last and they know you're committed and they know that you're investing in them. And, and you, sometimes we have to remind people that we're around, you know, because there's so much, you know, whatever, infomercials or, or, you know, they see stuff on the internet or they, you know, they're just, oh, let me pop in the support. But if you consistently show that I'm here, I'm committed, you don't let too much time go by, um, that's going to build customers for life. Okay, so don't, that is basic stewardship 101 right there. Like no matter what your goals are in Mary Kay. And then between enrollment periods, make it a goal, you know, play a game with yourself of, okay, how many new customers do I want to add to my list? 10, 20, you know, because when you start to get to 100 and 150 clients, um, that's where the magic happens. All of a sudden you have a flood of three, four hundred dollars of reorders, you know, or you're just checking on people and all of a sudden and the referrals happen because they know you're committed and so they're out in the community and people are like, oh, I wish I had a Mary Kay person or I'm looking for good makeup and oh my, have to meet my Mary Kay girl because she takes such good care of See, mm -hmm. so it's just basic, like you've got to have that in place. 
And um, so what you want to start doing now is, is and again, there, there's a scripture, I think it's Zechariah 4.10, it's either 3.10 or 4.10 that says, do not just all beginnings for the eyes of the Lord rejoice to see the work begin. And it, it's a biblical principle, you guys, when we do well with the little, then we're given more. But sometimes we're like, well, oh, whoop de doo she bought an eyeliner. You know what I'm saying? No, steward that like it's like it's like it was a two hundred dollar sale, and watch the 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 referrals and the reorders and and all of that that comes from that from treating that person like they are just the the queen of the world. Um, so what you want to be doing right now is utilizing my customers. Do you have a question? No, utilizing my customers. So every contact you have with somebody, whether you facial them or not. Um, if, if they're prospective customers or if they even just bought a little bit through a kind of on-the-go sale, you want to be draw immediately. You are not done with a facial or a party or you've not closed out a sale until you've sat down and in my customers put in as much information about that person as possible. What they purchased, what their wish lists are, address, email, cell phone, house phone, and, and what I've learned is, and there's a, there's a section where you can see about that person. And what I've learned, because again, sometimes when you're new or, or your business isn't very big, you think, well, um, you know, I don't want to, uh, you know, oh, I'll remember them or whatever. But what starts to happen, you get, you know, you do 30 faces and some of it becomes a blur. So it's really important after that party to go in there and say, okay, you know, cute blonde hair that had red shoes or you know make a note in there to trigger your memory so that when you go to make those follow-up calls of books you remember exactly who that was a lot of times I'll remember the hostess and and then the people at the party sometimes become a blur so maybe even put a note of who the hostess was and where the party was held and you know again whatever triggers your memory if she had really pretty blue eyes or, or a cute shirt on or something like that, whatever will trigger your memory. Um, if she talked about, you know, that she was a teacher or somewhere or something like that, um, that, that stewardship, you guys, that's because we'll, we'll have some customers and then all we're thinking of is I need more customers. I need more customers. Well, ask yourself, am I doing the very best I can with the customers I have. And that doesn't mean calling them all the time or, you know, but it, it means do I have the basic things in place for the little that I do have so that as this grows, I can take really, really great care of it. So July 15th midnight is that deadline. Don't miss it, you guys. This fall lookbook, I'm telling you, there's secrets and there's some really, really great products. You don't want to miss that. And when you enroll your people in the preferred customer program, um, the, the deadline is July 15th, you will be able to order the new fall books and the new fall products and all of that August 10th, rather than having to wait till August 16th like everybody else. So, um, <coughs> and, and those books will mail um, like the second week of August is when, and, and again, your book will hit your mailbox so then you'll know it's time to start following up. Okay, um, I sent a bunch of tracks and um, there, there's so much to focus on. And again, I'm, I'm going to play the, the role of the hostess. And so I, I'm just asking you to just sit back, you know, uncross your legs <laughs> and uncross your arms. And just, I mean, you don't really have, but I'm, I'm just being a, being a posture of receiving right now. Um, because I don't want you to, you know, because a confused mind does nothing and I don't want to throw a bunch of stuff out at you and have you be like, I don't know what to focus on and then not focusing on anything. So take one or two things that really spark your interest and, and run with those. Um, but this is a brand new vision board and I, I made my brand new vision board and it was so special because my kids watched me and I, I mean, I just, I got out a piece of poster board and put some of these new tracking and visuals on it. Um, and I like to put, put a picture of my family and I put these words, um, love, um, abundance, gratitude, and stewardship. And, um, a vision board to me is different than a goal poster because a, a goal poster, um, is, is, I mean, that's good. It's a visual, but I like to call it a vision board 
because you can it's something that you can sit and look at and and look at the pictures and, and really start to dream so um, think about not just what is your dream like Mary Kay goal wise I mean you could put a picture of the red jacket you can put a picture of a certain amount of sales that you want to make a week um, or the car then you can put those things but I also want you, I want it to be expanded more than that. Is it to, um, and, and, and not to pay off a bill. It's if you pay off these bills, then what will you do with that abundance for your family or for yourself? Um, I, you know, I know we have some, some young women that their goal is to set aside money for um, a down payment for, to own their own home. Um, so, you know, put pictures of, of what is that house, uh, you know, visualize what is that house going to look like. Um, is travel exciting to Is, um, um, you know, time with your family in a certain, in a certain way. Put words and pictures on there that, that simulate that, that, that vision and that dreaming. Because when you're in that mode, then the work, because it is work, it's work to pick up our, our kits and, and, go out in the hundred degree heat here and, and, you know, put stuff on people and sometimes they love it and sometimes they might be a tiny bit crabby or whatever, you know, or to make those phone calls. And I mean, there is a little bit of a grind. It is work. Um, but it is so rewarding those connections and it is so rewarding when you see what it does for your family and when you start to build a reputation for yourself and when you start to build a strong foundation the work is worthy and it's worth it it's totally worth it so um my very first assignment to you is to take some of these tracking sheets and and, and like i said it was so special because my kids sat and watched me and they they know that I hit some of the goals that I'd set this last year, and I know that I missed some of the goals this last year, and I missed some by a really tiny little bit. And but but it's okay. They they got they were excited just watching me. I didn't say, "Hey kids, come here and watch me make this goal poster." They were like, "What are you doing?" Oh wow, blah blah blah, and they were asking me questions. And that's where more is caught, what is taught, and they're seeing they're seeing Mama set goals first of all. And and they're seeing they're seeing mom say, okay, I'm happy that I hit some of these and, and some I didn't, but I'm keeping the goal and changing the deadline. And that is so good for them because in their lives, whether it's in, in the workplace, in college, they're gonna excel and succeed in some things. And sometimes they're gonna they're gonna train the, the bigger lesson is okay, I, I didn't hit what I wanted to hit, but I can pick myself right back up and keep going like mom did. That is much better of a of a lesson than you know, every mom touch turned to gold and then I, you know, nobody can top her you know what i mean i mean yeah. i want them to see me go you know what yeah that's kind of a bummer we didn't hit that but here are the things we did hit and here's the benefit of everything that we did you know um anyway i could go on and on about that but you guys get it so make make a vision board that is so important you know the the bible says that the people perish for lack of vision mm -hmm. and and you know there's times when I pretty much daily when I say, you know, God, I want your vision. I don't, I don't want to just say, this is what I want. Bless it. I, I, I'm like, what is your vision? Please help me to know that. So even just making that vision board, it's, it's a creative process where a lot of times God will speak to your heart and lay things on your heart. So, um, you know, because in James it, it said, I mean, this is a very loose translation, but it says, you know, don't ever say, I'm going to go here and there and do this and that, you know, you say, if the Lord wills. Um, but again, I can, I can, I can sit here and guarantee you that God wants so much more for us than we could dare to ask or think or imagine. So a lot of times saying, what is your vision? He's going to put something bigger on your heart than, than you realized. So my prayer is always, you know, God, help me to be what you want me to be. Help me to not get ahead of your will, but help me not to, stay behind your will either. You know what I'm saying? Cause I think a lot of my life I kind of lagged behind what he really had for me, but I'm saying so that vision board is just a really cool thing. And, and the last little thing about that is too, if you're a person of faith that wants to put scriptures on your vision board, I, I think that's kind of a special thing too. So if God puts scriptures on your heart. Okay. Um, 
Okay, so attract number of grows. So there, there are um, several tracking sheets that I sent to you guys, and I just want to talk about each one. There is, there is first of all the the beautiful company. Let me hold this up. The, oh. Well, I don't know if you can see it or not with the lighting. It's kind of funny. Yeah, there. Okay. With the bracelets. You guys saw this. Again, this is something This is something that whether you want to be a national sales director or, you know, just make some part-time money, this is for you. This is for everybody. And this is um, for, for every month of the year that you accumulate $6 in wholesale orders in the calendar month the company is going to automatically send you these gorgeous, high-quality cuff bracelets that have little inspirational sayings from Mary Kay Ash engraved on them. And, and the neat thing is, you know, sometimes in the past they've done promotions where it's not immediate gratification. As soon as you hit that 600 bracelet, it goes out to you. Um, this includes customer delivery service orders, everything. So, and it's accumulative, so it does not have to be that 600. Well, I, again, I took the math. And um, said, well, what is that in retail sales? And not just say, let's order 600 to get a pretty bracelet, mm -hmm. but what, what, where is our profit? And so what I put on here on the flyer is track 1,200 in monthly retail sales. So, so what would be 1,200 in monthly retail sales? That's selling $100 12 times. So that is making, let's just say that's making 20 connects, whether customer, whether it's a single facial, whether it's a party. Um, I Again, I double dog dare you to make 20 connects with people and, and see if you can't track that 1,200 in retail sales. So when you do that 1,200, because a lot of times right now, 1,200, I might as well have said 12 million. Mm -hmm. Open up your mind to abundance. The, the, like, I, I mean, I'm not trying to be dramatic. I mean, I'm a dramatic person, but I mean, I've, I've laid on my floor countless times and, and begged God, do not let me think small. Don't let me think small. Um, because of you know my background and the way I grew up and stuff, sometimes I can kind of go back into that small thinking. This is not this is not hard. Every single consultant in our company can do this. Twelve hundred in retail sales. So when you use your stewardship and your sixty forty, that's four hundred and eighty dollars in profit and seven hundred and twenty dollars to order. So that's more than enough to cover that 600 plus tax and shipping and section two and all of that stuff. So, I mean, how many of you that work another job, if your boss said, um, you know, make 20 extra connects for our whatever, you know, whatever, 20 extra customers that you brought food to or, you know, whatever you're, you know, and you'll get a $480 bonus at the end of the month. Mm -hmm. Would you do it? Mm -hmm. uh, yes, yes. But then again, then it's tied that. So what are you going to do with that four hundred and eighty dollars? That and and that's where that goes on your vision board. And I and I put on here. Imagine if you just saved it. Um, and I can't see my own little tiny print here. But imagine if you saved it all year long. If you saved it. Oh, I put that in my. But it would be like five grand that you saved by the end of the year in just Mary Kay profits just for making 20 touches with customers in the month. I mean, that's powerful, you guys. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, that alone. Now, what that what is that going to do? That's basically teaching you to be a star consultant because when you order 600 every month, that's going to that's going to be what you need to be a star consultant. That's going to be your 1800 at the end of the quarter. But but again, sometimes people I think they hear that 1800 and they just shut their brain off and they don't open themselves up to the possibility of of doing that. Open learn to train yourself when when you feel your brain going that's too much I can't do that go you know whatever you got to do <laughs> slap yourself away. I'm just kidding. Don't do that. But I mean whatever you got to do to go no, no. 
I don't want to think small. I, we live in the United States of America. We have this incredible opportunity where we can buy something for $5 and sell it for 10 and serve women and, and build others up and, and build my own life up. Why would I don't get into that lack mentality? Just don't. Okay. So that's, that's that. So that, that's for everybody, you guys, that is for everybody. And the fact that they're giving us that gorgeous bracelet, basically just for doing what we got to do to build a business, what we're here to do anyway. Right. Okay. So there's that one. Now the next tracking sheet I want to talk about is the, the Bicel area. Perfect. I see that, that one. Okay. This is your monthly tracking sheet because again, attract number grows. And, and on this tracking sheet, the most important thing is, is tracking your faces. Of course, done if we're in, in front of a group of three, five, six people doing a party. But you know what? Sometimes if, if you're trying to get on the books and that's not happening, go back to doing faces. Just, you know, chasing faces takes you places, building clients um, and, and going there with every connect with every client saying, I'm here to bring the cosmetic counter to you and I'm here to serve you. I, I'm here out of all the hats you wear, out of all the responsibilities, um, out of all the things where you're just giving out, giving out, giving out. I want to be the one thing in your life that I give to you. When you go there with just pure service, whether they buy an eyeliner or a $300 set, you're going to build, again, a strong foundation. Those women are going to come back to you over and over again. They're going to get their families on the product. They're going to refer people to you, and it's going to grow from there. Um, so this is where you track your faces, where you track skincare customers. You want to become really great at romancing skincare sets because when people's skin is looking amazing again they're going to come back to that over and over again um i've occasion i've got my sister um she's 46 and she lives in chicago and she could pretty much go buy whatever she wanted to really and i got her on the repair set and and she's not a real girly girl lots of makeup i mean she dresses very attractively she's a professional woman but she's she sent me a selfie after just a few days of using her repair and like she is pumped and she was she in her in her text she put all the statistics that it says in the lookbook of so much percentage less lines and all of that more firmness of skin and everything and that's so gratifying like we get to do, people are frustrated they they go to the mall or they go to the department store and they're just they they're just throwing a bunch of facts and throwing a bunch of product so we 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 kind of like write them a prescription we're kind of like their own little personal skincare consultant you know where we can write them up is going to help their skin looking the best and isn't that whether you wear a lot of makeup or a little bit of makeup when your skin looks good you feel confident you do more confident you know um so it's it's a big deal you guys so so that tracking sheet is really really important um okay so then um i also put this this simple tracker in there where you can just start to write and and the smartest thing you can do is challenge yourself to do 30 faces every month 30 faces every month whether, whether it's one blessed face at a time or if it's groups of three four five six ten at a time i mean you could do you could do three parties of ten if you wanted to um but remind yourself but but here's the thing we as women, we're, we hold back a lot of times from setting a goal because we think, well, what if we set the goal and we don't follow, we don't hit it? it there's no, there's no losing for trying. Let's say your goal, let's say you nail it, let's say you exceed it, but you know what? Let's say you fall short and you only did 10 or 15. Who cares? Your customer base is that much bigger you're like cannot lose and man if there's something i've learned over the last few years especially is to overshoot i mean don't set the goal for a hundred faces in a month crazy to where you know it's you can't obtain that i mean someone could obtain that but i'm just saying but but 30 shoot for that 30 shoot for that 30 shoot for that 30 until you nail it 
Um, aim higher. Don't just don't just set the goal for what you think you can do. Get kick it up a notch, and that expands your your thinking and your mind. And when you do hit it, or you come close, or you exceed it, that just makes you go, "Oh my gosh, I I, I could I, I just did something I never realized I could do." Um, so it's it's a thing. Okay, so all right, so there's that one. Then. All right, so track, 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 a track number grows. And that black and white one that I just showed too, that's one that you can keep and just staple it to the next month, the next month, and the next month. That way you can go back and say, oh yeah, I need to follow up with her. She wanted to have a party. And that way you've got all that, that um, information uh, you know, there that you can go back and follow up with as well. Okay. And look, I'm not a detail person, you guys. I mean, by nature, I'm so don't sit there. Well, that's good for you. You can do all this. I don't like to do all this, and that's why I make myself do it because that goes back to stewardship. Um, of because again, when we do well with what we've been given, it's a biblical principle. It says in the parable of the talents, we, we will be given more and we will have abundance. It literally says that. Um, so, so if you're not a detailed person or not a numbers person, that doesn't mean you can't learn. And and if you're listening, you know, if you're listening to this on on the on the webcast or you know you guys sitting here if any of this you feel like oh you know i need a little bit more tweaking i need to go back over that therefore call me we'll tweak it for for exactly what your needs are um but but building that customer base is where it's at you guys that's where the overflow of the bookings the referrals that's where you're going to find your team members because if you find your team members in that customer base and they've seen you They've, they've seen you in action and, and you know they've seen the exchange of money then they know that's how it's done and then they will duplicate that and then they will know how to build a business they'll know that you know I mean there's nothing wrong with meeting somebody on the street and going wow you're really sharp you know you should hear about this business but when you follow the the path of getting them on the product letting them experience the product a facial a party referrals then they're going to be all that more of a stronger team member because they'll really understand how the business works. Does that make sense, you guys? So it all, the closer you are to the product, the closer you are to a strong foundation. That's where everything, that's where everything's going to flow over. Every time that I've, I have a team building goal and I'm like, man, I'm not really sure who to reach out to, I get back in the selling field and then that's where new team members emerge. Okay. Um, all right, now this one, okay, does everybody have on their big abundance hat right now? Okay, well, yeah, everybody's just like, oh, okay, I feel like I should, we should all do a yoga pose right now. Okay, but this is the National Court of Sales and National Court of Sharing, okay? That's that sheet right there. And this is where, you know, the key, you guys, I mean, there's so many ways you know, what is it? There's a hundred ways to skin a cat or whatever, but I mean, there's so many ways to do it, but the, the, I've done it one way and not the other. And the way I'm about to tell you is the better way to do it. Okay. When you know, there's a qualification period, whether it's, um, you know, you want to earn a Mary Kay car or it's the new star consultant quarter, or like we're in a brand new Mary Kay year, the time for action is now. It's, it's human nature to go, oh, I've got a whole year. Oh, I've got three months or I've got six months. Let me just kind of hang out and get a tan or whatever. But the time for action, I mean, nothing wrong with getting tan, but I'm just saying balance. <laughs> but the time for action is at the beginning because the more faces and more clients you build at the beginning of that qualification period, then at the end of that three months or six months or Mary Kay seminar year, you've got all those people that have been reordering product and sending people to you. So like the, don't, the, the most dangerous, you know, what do they say? Procrastination is, is suicide and the installment plan or something like that. I know I totally butchered that, but, but my point is, it's so easy to go, oh, Christmas, I'll really get rubbed up. You know what I'm saying? Then you're missing all this time. Have your eyes open to who you can facial. I, again, be willing to do whatever it takes. Is it one person at a time? Is it a group? It doesn't matter. Just get product on people's faces and make connections. Ask for referrals. Give killer service. And and just be that person that they they couldn't even imagine going to because there's a lot of great products out there you guys on the internet in different stores there's plenty of great products out there 
But if you you are the magic ingredient, your service, your kind heart, um, your the way you wrap up their package and throw some extras in there. I'm not talking about giving away the store, but your words of appreciation and and just quick as you can get that product in their hands. That's what sets you apart. Um, I've uh, recently I've built and I mean over time, but especially recently I've met several people that are like, I'm so tired of running to Malbus for my Clinique or whatever. And then I go all the way up there and I fight traffic and then they were out of what I wanted anyways. I'm like, I am your easy button. You tell me what you love in our line. Let's get together. I will keep your, your preferences on hand. Um, or at, at the very least be set up for customer delivery service where you can shoot it out and get it to them in a couple days um, and and be fast like get on it and and be totally service oriented okay that's stewardship okay so national court of sales now this this again this is good for your vision board and and don't listen to these numbers and think too big can't do it you never know. God can do anything and avalanche could happen a a a, a uh, momentum could pick up and it, it could just be b crazier than you could ever even imagine whenever you start to play the what if game well what if i try and i fall really short go you know what what if what if i try and it's like there's people lined up outside my door when I wake up every morning wanting America. I mean, play the what if game that way. You know what I'm saying? And if you start to what if, what if this, but what if it's the greatest thing ever? What if, what if it exceeds beyond anything I could imagine? When you start to train your brain to think big like that, um, that's huge. It's my husband. Oh. oh, okay, okay, okay. He can come in if he wants to. Or he was just checking on you. Okay, he was letting you know. Okay, all right, so Queen's Court of Sales, which, guess what? Your director is going to go across the national stage and, and get, a, get my ring this year. I'm so, so excited. Yeah, I'm really excited. Um, so if, if I can do it, you people can do it. Okay. So what that is, it's 40000 in retail sales for the seminar year. So that's based on, that's your wholesale order to the company doubled. So this tracking sheet helps you track it 500 And man, I mean, I was cranking it out and I had my tracking sheet and it was so fun and crazy um, in June. But I mean, I, I was, and I, I'm going to keep that tracking sheet forever because I wrote done. Okay. Yes. Yes. Um, so pick which ring you love and then, uh, and imagine yourself and, and my motivation, you guys, um, I'm just going to say, um, my, and you guys know this, but our national sales director, Mary Beisel and her husband are very, very special to me. And, and, um, you know, he's been fighting some health issues and, and he's coming to seminar this year. And I wanted, I always want to make you guys proud. I want a national win to make you guys proud, but, um, I wanted to make him proud because he is, um, I mean, and Mary too, but, but he's the one from the very beginning would, would show me how to crunch numbers and get out the calculator and, and just even, and I'm sure I just had this look on my face, like, you know, but, but he showed belief that I that I could and so um, I'm so happy I'm just really pumped about that so um, find what motivates you but here you can track your wholesale orders and again every time you cross it off don't go well I did one but holy cow how no say I did one and if I did one I can do it again and if I did it again I can do it again learn to talk to yourself like that Flick that ugly witch off your shoulders that says those negative mean things to you and, and listen to the good angel that's there saying, but what if you can? Well, keep trying. You never know. Okay, and then the, then the national credit sharing is also on this tracking sheet. And, and again, if you start now, two qualifieds a month, and you'll have those 24 by next June 30th. And that's that's Diamond Bumblebee, you guys. So okay, so it's forty thousand retail, which is which is twenty thousand in wholesale orders of the company, and then twenty four. Um, I 
team members to, for the B, but but if first nobody in this room, because you guys all think huge, but if someone's listening that they think, oh my gosh, I just, you know, that might be a little much for me, cut it in half. And that's the Bicel National Area Court. So 20,000 retail or 10,000 in wholesale orders to the company and 12 qualifieds will still get you really, really special recognition at Mary Bicel's Banquet next seminar and a strong foundation in your business, which is the most important thing. Um, so just, just remember, you know, there is a half court as well. So use that tracking sheet. But again, play the what if game of what if I totally rock it. Okay. And then the last tracking sheet that I have on here is this. I love this. This is cute. This steps to success. It just makes it so simple and so easy. But it's if, if, um, getting to, to future director or DIQ, um, is important and it just makes it so easy senior consultant there's your first two team members star team builder three and four team leader five six seven future director eight nine and diq ten ten active so again attract number grows when you've got this in front of you all of a sudden you're going why don't i ask her what about her i never even thought about her and it just all of a sudden it, your your creativity starts rolling instead of being shut down and thinking i don't know who to call all of a sudden the possibilities open up to you so having said that we are still looking for um 13 more women to be a part of that 2020 vision team for our unit um and that that's something where again i've i've been like god help me to know your vision um, and I woke up at 530 in the morning a couple months ago and I went 2020 vision, 20 new women, um, in our unit that would bless our unit and that we can show them how to build a business. And it's like, I wrote one through 20 and then it's just like people start, I mean, it just, it's the coolest thing. And so, um, so we are having an interview contest. Because the, the contest helps you guys just to get brave about asking people to listen, really. And then once you get brave about asking people to listen, then it just becomes second nature to go, you know, do you have a few minutes? Could I just tell you how this works? Because it's never our goal to convince people to do something I want to do. And because that will not, there, there's no lasting, there's no lasting um, longevity with that. But, but my goal is to convince somebody to listen to all the information from beginning to end. That way they know what they're saying yes or no to. And, and then that way they're making an educated decision whether to yes or no or not right now, maybe in the future. Um, and the more you, you are doing those kind of interviews, um, you, some are going to say yes, some are going to say no. But the ones that say no, nine times out of ten are that much more um, – committed to you because they see your professionalism they understand more about what you're doing and the, they're they're more likely to send you referrals and a lot of times those people right when you need them most are they they're that random phone call okay i'm ready you know is when you take good good care of them as as customers so it's always worth it so um the test is e it's easy easy you guys three interviews held with either your director or if you're any and um, at the end of the month, I'm going to give you a pack of the 10 of the newest lookbooks because I think I can start, or, uh, well, I know I can, but I, um, like around the 26, I can order them. Um, the new TimeWise Repair Mini you're going to get. And I think those are like 12 bucks, you guys. So that's like a good, that's a good prize. Um, I mean, I'm just saying. <laughs> but I mean, you know, it's it's a useful prize. You're gonna get those ten new look, ten fall lookbooks, and the TimeWise Mini. Um, and that TimeWise Mini is gonna be good for demoing out of kind of like that ClearProof Mini. Mm -hmm. It's a good demo. Um, and and those won't be available to order until the the new lookbooks or the TimeWise Mini aren't gonna be available to order until the. Um, August 10th or August 16th, depending on if you do preferred customer program or not. So, so when we do those interviews, your, your role is to just listen, listen to how I explain it, listen to the questions they ask, listen to, um, you know, because every interview is different, just like every facial is different. Like you wouldn't put time-wise repair 
on an 18 year old. You wouldn't put um, mineral powder on somebody who says they want full coverage liquid foundation. And as so it is with the interview. So just like at the beginning of a facial, you ask about their skin type, are they dry, are they oily, are they normal? At the beginning of an interview, you ask questions to find out what season of life they're in and what's important to them. That way, you, you still give all the information, but you can give it in a way that would be meaningful and important to what their needs are. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. And so when you listen to me do these interviews, it's not about convincing someone to do something they don't want to do. It's about you learning how to ask those questions and give that information in a way that they can make an educated decision. Does that make sense? And so it, this is a skills-based business, you guys. And, and once you get down a few simple skills, then you can just do it. So that's just one more skill, just like you, you know, um, we did training on how to do a facial or how to do a party. And now you're doing your own parties and facials. Once you sit in and listen to those interviews, then you'll be off. And it's very empowering <laughs> when you're sitting down at your own party or your own facial and someone starts asking questions or, or you really see some potential in somebody and you can say, you know what, do you have a few minutes? I'd love to give you some more information. And, and you're not nervous like, oh, what if I don't know how to answer her questions or how to explain it? You, you'll totally know. And just like with a facial, um, if someone does ask you a question that you don't know the answer to, it's totally professional to say, that's a great question. Let me write that down. I'm going to research it tomorrow and get back to you with the answer. There's never anything wrong with saying that, you guys. So don't be so welcome the questions. Um, okay, so is that, are you all with me on that? So see, all of these things are designed to help you build a lasting, strong, lucrative business and to work at all full circle. You don't want to be just ordering product because you love product and you want the cute bracelet. You don't want to be just selling and then not stewarding the money that comes through your hands and, and 60, 40, 60, 40 in your money and having a goal of where that profit's going to go and tracking it with good stewardship in your online banking. So you can see, this is my Mary Kay order money. This is my Mary Kay profit money. And then seeing where my profit money goes. Um, and you don't want to be just team building and not have a strong customer base because not everybody is going to want to be on your team, but you can have men, women, boys, and girls in your client base, um, whatever on clear proof or the men's products or skincare, makeup, all of it. And you can have a, have a, just a rocking client base as well. So you, when you have all those things working for you, you've got a strong foundation and then you can take it to the next step. Always be asking yourself, anytime you get a little like, whoa, what do I, you know, because we get all these excited ideas and this and that, say, what is, what is my very next step? What is my very next step? And what can I do today to take a step towards that? And, and so having your vision board, having these tracking sheets, having your goals set out, um, having a dream in your heart, all of those things will help you to stay on track, kind of keep your head in the game. And because remember, you don't want to be that, you know, like the example I gave of the, you know, I'm PMSing and whatever, you know what I'm saying? You don't want to be that, per don't be that guy, like they say, you know, um, show commitment, show, you know, um, use stewardship, um, do things with, with love and, and the right motives. And, and then open your mind to abundance and all the possibilities, you guys. And I mean, you, you know, Stand up real quick. Stand up. Stand up. Okay. Stand up. Okay. Okay. Look down at your feet. Okay. If you didn't take a single step all year long, where would you be this time next year? Right. Right here. Okay. And that would be so creepy. So, <laughs> but I mean, you know, but like in your in your business take that next step none of I know you guys wouldn't be here and y'all wouldn't sit in and watch this if you didn't really want something from from your business you guys and there's just so so much there so I think I got everything let me see um yes okay so I, I want to see pictures 
of your vision board. Um, post them in our in our group. Send them to me in a text. I want to see your vision board. Start working on that right away. And and remember that Ju you can sit down now. I'm sorry. Oh. Um, and and remember <laughs> that running. July is a great month to book. You guys, it. Um, I can promise you, if you go up to the Dillard's counter or Belk or the Target Cosmetics <laughs> aisle every day of the week, Monday th through Sunday, people are going to be there shopping. Dillard's doesn't say, well, it's summer and people aren't wearing a lot of makeup and they're at the beach. We're just going to close our cosmetic counter down for the summer. Are you kidding? No way. No way. So don't don't put out that vibe to your clients that you're not in business. Um, and and look, just like with every season of the year, sure, are some people on vacation or some people have kids out of school, but not everybody has kids out of school. And you know, they're, they're either their kids are grown or they don't have children. And there's a whole lot of people that right now life is business as usual. And they're they're working the nine to five grind, and they need you to be of service to them. So don't don't forget that. Don't just assume the whole world is on vacation and um, not wearing makeup or whatever. There's a lot of people that are in the professional world that they're grinding it out, and they they need us to take care of them. Um, so are you guys excited? So real quick before we close, what did you get? Give me just a little bit of feedback from what what meant something to you or what what what's your focus the vision mm -hmm. uh, chart good setting goals good challenging yourself good there was a lot more you spoke a long time yeah i did <laughs> but good 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 um i think the five times a year if you are following up after the lookbook then just even if they never bought anything from you that they would know that you're serious about your business. It's, that's exactly right. Exactly right. Bill talks about his because he's was formerly in real estate, and he calls they in real estate they call it touches professional touches. Just let you know I'm here. I'm not going anywhere. I'm in business. I'm here to serve you. And it that's exactly right. They know that you're you're a professional when you do that. When you send out that book and follow up. How about you, Jennifer? Um, the stewardship over the contact leads. I'm bad about leaving my leads in different places. Mm -hmm. and I think I'm going to start actually entering all my leads into my customers. Perfect. Just putting in the notes section. This is just a lead, not a customer. Perfect. Because, so you know, with my house is always crazy. So my kids, sometimes my leads, you know, they get tossed over here, or they get put in this mm -hmm. bag or that bag. And mm -hmm. I'm just trying to think, like, I've got two really good customers, and I'm trying to think right now, where is their information? <laughs> that good, right. <laughs> and good. I've got to go home and dig it out. Like, I know I'll be able to find it, but if I can get it in the computer, it'll eliminate an entire step of how do I keep up with everything. Perfect. Perfect. And I can just put them in on my phone as soon as I'm, like, I'm sitting here, I take this, and I'm literally sitting there and do it right now. Yep. Perfect. And if I lose this, it doesn't matter. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I don't want to think about that. Uh, well, we we get busy and we get you know. I, I mean, so perfect. I'm bad like shuffling papers. Yeah. You know, organization when it comes to that kind of stuff. It's yep. Bad, so. Yep. Perfect. But now you have a system. Yep. Huge. Yeah. Huge. <laughs> How about you, Lexi? I mean, I know this is kind of a lot of. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of everywhere. Yeah. But I think once I start coming more often and really start understanding everything, it'd be better. Yes. But yeah, I didn't know what you were talking about at the time. Oh, right. <laughs> totally. Because it's all new lingo to you and everything. But it, but yeah. Yeah. Um, I didn't know they like rewarded you like stuff for selling. I mean, I knew they got a car license too. Because mm -hmm. a friend of my mom, she sells Mary Kay, and they told mm -hmm. me about how she might be getting a car. But mm -hmm. yeah, I didn't know all that. So that's cool. Yeah. Yes. Oh, there's so, I mean, literally you sneeze and you get, yeah. I mean, like the, the bracelets for the 600. I mean, yeah. Good. Good. Naomi. Um, think Good. Well, I guess I can start wearing on the band. I don't know. Like, kind of like snap out of that right. mentality. Yeah. Right. Just, yeah. But do something. Maybe like carry cotton balls. Like just there, yes, yes. Like, no. Something. Yeah. But yeah, I was gonna say the rubber band is is a negative, like a punishment. But yeah, cotton balls. Oh, think bigger. Give yourself a fuzzy, a warm fuzzy. <laughs> but I like that. Yeah, and and 
you and I both, we've come a long way, baby. I mean, we, we, we have so, but, but there's so much more we can open up our minds and hearts to. Yeah. Good, good, good. And you already said the, the vision board. Well, the vision board, I really like because you can do, put a lot of ideas and, and goals, set, set different things on mm -hmm. it to remind yourself and then challenge. Uh, I like the challenge. Mm -hmm. I'm doing the birthday thing, mm -hmm. so that's a challenge to me mm -hmm. to set up uh, appointments and have two or three girls in mm -hmm. for a birthday. A little, I said, you know, if I have to take a little cake, yeah. I'll take a cake mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and have, have them fix coffee and we'll have a birthday. I love party. it. So cool. I love it. That's a great idea. Good, good. Awesome. Okay. That's a good one on past customers. Okay, they're sharing ideas. So when you watch this, I love comments and feedback. Okay, so make sure you hit subscribe, subscribe to my channel. And um, I just pray that blessings chase all of you down. Thank you so much for sitting in. And I love you guys. Yay. Say give me a, like a woo. Okay, awesome. See you next time.